Today is Monday, the 4th of August, 2008, and this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends. The market's closed, and uh, despite a large drop in the price of oil, uh, equities sold off as well, as that inverse relationship that's you know supposed to be there doesn't always exist. Just as we saw on the way up, there were times when the market rallied, even as oil was rallying. So don't uh, look at uh, the you know theoretical relationships, but again, the only thing that pays is price, and that's what you need to focus focus on. This market, it's, it's going to be interesting tomorrow. We've got the Federal Reserve and um, it's going to be interesting to see what they can do to kind of save things here because it just seems as though the market, the market rather, is uh, perched on the edges of a precipice and we're losing leadership. Um, you know, Apple breaking down today. Uh, that made for a nice short sale there. We covered that in the video or, or the uh, live event Sunday night and, uh, you know, broke down through some support here and sold off quickly. It seems as though Apple uh, is likely to continue lower to at least test this level, if not uh, go uh, much deeper uh, in, into a deeper decline. But back to the S&P 500, we saw that the market uh, at the end of the day finished with a decline of $1.15, and that again brought us back below that 126 level that has been pretty important throughout this year. Right now, we're looking at a lower high here recently, but we've also got these higher lows that if we break here, that's going to be the catalyst that I think uh, leads us to at least a test of the 120, if not lower. The weekly time frame still looks like you know it hasn't been able to budge from here. Um, the buyers just aren't showing up. So when that happens, the more times it, the more time it takes to uh, rally from an oversold condition like that, it just frustrates the buyers. They end up giving up, and then it brings more supply back into the market. The uh, on the 30 minute time frame, we see that we've got a little trend line developed here this is what I had been talking about last week we were thinking well maybe it's a uh, in for a, a cup and handle and I said if it can pull back and hold above there then perhaps we're gonna see an ascending triangle develop but ascending triangles are typically continuation patterns of a bullish trend we don't have a bullish trend here so this is a long shot basically is my point on the 10 minute time frame we see that we are breaking down and that's what's more important to see is this pattern of lower highs and lower lows in here so the market remains guilty till proven innocent. This little trend line is just an intraday trend line that really you can't put a lot of uh, uh, emphasis on that. It's uh, you know we've we've got we've had uh, basically a lot of choppy action the last few weeks that's uh, been you know indecisive. But uh, realistically, there's just been some huge trading opportunities. And look at the choppy action in here today relative to that uh, VWAP. Early on, we had this sell-off. The market recovered, got back above it, kind of held back and forth. A uh, you know nice rally developed out of there, but the buyers couldn't hold on. It broke down, and then a nice little bearish flag here on the one-minute time frame that uh, would have made it for a nice uh, trade if you uh, you know continuation trade of that if you were paying attention to it. I wasn't, but. Uh, it was certainly uh, obvious in hindsight, at least. So going forward, we have the Federal Reserve tomorrow. The important level for the market to hold above tomorrow, I think, is going to be 123 and a half. I don't really think that there's a lot of reason to be bullish in here, but uh, sometimes these, uh, you know, what looks obvious. Um, can 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 bring about a, a large move in the opposite direction, but uh, to me it's just looking pretty darn obvious that this market ought to continue lower. So uh, extreme caution is what I would continue to advise. The uh, Russell 2000 continues to do battle with its uh, declining 50 and 200-day moving averages and this prior level of support here. So this 72 and a half, as I said last week, remains an important level for the market. It's going to have to get above and then hold above. Uh, there is no evidence of that so far. We were looking today for uh, so you know potential support down near about seventy and a half, seventy dollars and forty cents, um, and we did get a break below that, but it, it it held up above it. Realistically, though, you look at the uh, you know it's easier to see on the ten minute time frame. We had resistance here at seventy two. 71 and three quarters now 71 so we've got declining peaks lower highs we also have these lower lows in here so a lot of reason to be very cautious the market expended a lot of energy coming up to this level where has it come from well it's come from 65 up to 72 in a short period of time where did it have the potential to 
would go before you would expect it to meet a source of supply that would hold it down. This prior support and the location of the 50 and 20 day moving averages is often where we have sellers and that's what we're having seeing in here. Uh, realistically, the bigger damage comes to this market below $69 a share. So there will be trading opportunities on the short side down towards about 69 but when $69 a share breaks and it, you know, when and if it breaks and, and then it holds below that level then I think you're gonna see this market come back down towards that 65 level and of course 65 is the area that's been so important throughout the year where we've been getting these bounces from another test in there I'm not so confident that it would uh, continue to hold up the that the uh, financials we're down 24 cents today but uh, we usually just continue to consolidate underneath this uh, level here which is the declining 50-day moving average we've got the Bear Stearns low right here at about 22 and a half that remains important as well on the 30 minute time frame you can see we're consolidating basically between 21 and 22 uh, a break below 21 that probably puts us back uh, down towards this 21 level which has been uh, again an important level here uh, from you know since that that r rally right here where we had uh, I believe that was the Merrill Lynch news so this market I'd say continue to stay away from let's do look uh, take a look at oil because the USO last week we had seen um, that it looked like maybe it was beginning to bounce in here and uh, I thought maybe it would get up to that 107 level uh, or in the other alternative uh, scenario I'd suggested was that this breakout would lead to a failed move and from a failed move offers continued uh, uh, movement in the opposite direction a lot of times and, and here's what we have so it could be that oil could uh, con continue to decline in here pretty uh, pretty good just as we've seen in natural gas and no one can pick the bottom in this thing because it just made a new low again here today and it just shows the danger of trying to pick bottoms and tops they're the most difficult job there are on Wall Street only liars can do it with any type of consistency the uh, cues last we'll take a look at NASDAQ 100 still locked in that range of 44 to 46 but uh, this thing's just looking ugly when you look at uh, you know, uh, let's look at the 10 minute time frame you know this little bearish flag uh, did continue lower in here today it found some resistance right up here and then closed uh, weak in, in at the end of the day potential levels of support that aren't likely to be very strong are right here at 44 and a quarter uh, just below that uh, you know 44 is again the kind of what's really defined this range we've got a couple of uh, uh, you know intraday movement below there but on the weekly time frame it's a uh, it, it remains you know a mess here with the path of least resistance lower and it, it seems as though lower prices should be coming for the Nasdaq 100 again when you look at uh, the breakdown of the leadership in, in tech leaders such as uh, Apple and uh, Google's looking looking just as bad if, if not worse uh, just continues this with this pattern of lower highs and lower lows broke through some support here today and that could lead to the next move lower so you know, stay away from these stocks on the long side as long as they have a declining five-day moving average.